Okay, um, <coughs> this is the uh, Willful Smart wristband. Uh, I've been using this for a few days now. Um, I've been using it to track uh, footsteps, um, cycling, sleep patterns and so forth. So it's the SW501. Inside the box you get the uh, charging clip which runs off a USB. So you have to plug it into a USB port so it's ideal for your um, computer or if you've got a battery pack. And all it does is it just clips onto the back of the uh, the watch and then you just plug it into a USB port. Um, I tried to plug it into a power bank um, and it worked quite well. The only problem was that it was at an angle and so forth. Okay, uh, but the actual watch is actually quite good. So the actual price point, um, I got it for twenty one ninety five. Um, it was just more of a dipping into the smartwatch market. It's not an iPhone, uh, an Apple Watch. Um, it's very straightforward. So from the let's just go back to the home screen. So from the home screen, you've got you just hold down a long press to get to the home screen. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is the home screen. So it displays the date, uh, the battery life, and the time. And that syncs from your actual um, mobile phone or the app where the app is installed. Okay, and as you can see on the screen there, there's a fingerprint uh, sensor there. You can probably just about see it at an angle. Uh, just here. And all you do... So you press it once to turn it on, press it again to get to the steps, um, press it again to get to cycling, and then all you do is to hold it down, hold it down a long press, takes you to the menu, um, and then all you do is press it once to go through the menu. So this is the sleep one. So inside here, you can turn the sleep on or off, so single for on, single for off, and then hold down to get back to the menu. Um, you've got swimming as well. Um, which enables you to track your lengths. However, that hasn't worked very well for me. Um, it doesn't it doesn't seem to pick up when you turn very well. So obviously it has a sensor in it, um, which is used for the pedometer. So every time the, the watch moves, it picks up a step. Um, but when you're swimming, it needs to identify when you change directions, which isn't always true. So either overcompensates or undercompensates. Um, the best feature I've found so far is the sleep one. Um, which is this one so this is really this has really worked well for me so if you look at my review at the bottom um, I put a screenshot in showing the sleep pattern and how it tracks it so it looks at um, the quality of sleep how efficiently you're sleeping uh, which I found quite interesting so the first night I used it um, I was obviously aware that I was wearing the watch and I was you know thinking about it I wasn't fully falling asleep and so forth whereas the second time I wore it I got a better efficiency of sleep um, but I'm not sure how accurately it can actually track that. <coughs> um, so that's quite a nice little feature. Um, something else which I've been using as well. So when my mobile phone is in my pocket, I've been using the um, the music one. So this enables me to pause, play, skip tracks, and so forth. So once again, it works on a long press if you want to skip a track and so forth. Okay. So to get back to the menu, hold down this button. Uh, the other thing is the photo, so you can be using you can use your watch as a um, a way of taking a photograph. So, for example, if I press that, it then hold it down, and my phone will capture a picture. Okay. Um, you can also turn the vibration on and off as well, so you can have vibration on on the watch or vibration off. Um, so that's it really. So it's quite as you can see, it's a fairly basic smartwatch, but for the money. It's quite good. The battery life, I charged it up um, five days ago, and it's still going strong now. Uh, it's only lost one bar, so and that's been that's been using it just really for sleep patterns and the pedometer. Um, so yeah, it seems to last. It at least last me for about a week, which is fantastic, and that's a lot better than my Moto 360 watch, which only lasts for about 15 hours before I have to charge it up. Uh, and the other thing it can do is actually you can link it through the app to receive text messages, social media alerts and so forth, which is good as well. So for the money, it's actually a pretty good little watch. So there you go.